Hi. I was just preparing for this episode of Tiny Songs Live. What's a tiny song, you might ask? Well, it could be anything, and there's no rules. Well, that's not entirely true. There's one rule. It has to be a story, and every musical decision that we make has to be in service and in honor of that story. And that's it. I could do this by myself, but I think it'd be way cooler and way better if you helped me. So I want this to be interactive. I invite your help. Share any ideas or comments or suggestions you might have. I have no idea what's about to happen. This is going to be totally live. Here we go. Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm so excited. This is going to be really fun. This is something that I've wanted to do for so long, and we're finally doing it. And I just want to welcome all of you. This is 100% live, and uh, I have no idea what's about to happen. But I do want to say a heartfelt welcome. Someone in the chat confirm that you can hear me and you can see me. Uh, I've been having some tech stuff I've been dealing with today. I think I got it all sorted out, knock on wood. So if you can hear me and see me, let me know. And once I get a confirmation, we'll get started. And I see some familiar familiar friends and faces in the chat already. And thank you, PW, super cool of you. and glad to have you here. Okay, I got a confirmation. I got a confirmation from uh, Designed by Shay, who I, my favorite person. And uh, I'm married to her, and I'm. she just said, you can hear me and see me. So we're going to get started. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Tiny Songs Live, this is not a show. This is a collaborative thing. Like, I need your help. And not only do I need your help, but the music will be cooler if I have your help. So I need your decision-making, musical brains, minds, charisma, create creativity power i need that i need that i could do this on my own i could do this on my own but it wouldn't be as good and it wouldn't be live so we're gonna do it live and i need your help so the first thing i need your help with is choosing our story so we have two stories and the story that the chat chooses will determine the path our musical path our journey for tonight make sense so that being said i'm going to show you two stories, and you let me know which one you want. Drum roll, stand by, stand by, pulling up the B-roll. Okay, so, story one. Let's boot this up here, get a little volume. You can hear a little slapback echo for a second, but here it goes. All right, so, man, look at that guy just booking it. <laughs> Somebody already said story two. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the volume down. Okay, so the bicycle, the story one is the, the spirit of the bicycle. The bicycle is actually incredibly cool. If you think about it, the first bicycle was invented in 1817 and then the big wheeler was invented in 1880. So from 1880 to 1890, if you were riding a bicycle, you were on, you were like eight feet up in the air going super fast and no one had ever really done that before. And the cool thing about the bicycle is you use your own energy to go faster and farther than anyone has gone before by, by your own energy, right? It's a really cool invention. It maximizes human efficiency and it's dangerous. You were up there like, dude, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look how fast he's going downhill and you're so high up in the air. It's a vibe. Okay. So story one, S spirit of the bicycle is a spirit of human ingenuity, ingenuity, speed, danger. I know we think of it as kind of an old timey thing, but it's, it's, uh, it's actually pretty, pretty impressive. So story one is the spirit of the bicycle. Story two, stand by. We got the great train robbery.
Okay, I'm gonna bring the music down. Okay, we've all seen this kind of stuff before, right? But every train robbery heist I've seen it has the same musical vibe. But if you think about it, how dangerous and wild and cool this stuff is. It's it's life or death. It's if you if you rob the train, you're set for life. But there's a dude hitting you with a shovel. Look at this guy. They're fighting on top of a, a moving train. Like I know it's kind of old timey. Got it. Got to think about if you were there. Think about if you were there. A real train heist, and we've only heard it one way, which is the silent film kind of vibe. But it could be anything, right? So, I summon the chat. I summon the chat. What's going to be? Is it story one, or is it story two? Are we going to go with the bicycle? We're going to go with the train robbery, and the chat will decide our fate. And while the chat is deciding, I do have a couple quick announcements. One, I want to proudly proclaim that this stream is sponsored by Sweetwater, and they're making this possible tonight. I'm grateful to Sweetwater. Thank you, Sweetwater. Actually, I have a, a cool graphic of Sweetwater. Look, look at that. Sweetwater. Uh, thank you, Sweetwater. And they have a really cool giveaway going on. Link is in the description. Link is in the chat for that. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Sweetwater. Um, and the chat is voting. Chat, keep your uh, keep your your comments coming in. Hey, what's up, Ralph? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. It looks like mostly story two so far, but we will allow we will allow um, a few more votes to come in. People are still coming in. In the meantime, I'm going to introduce our guest for tonight. I'm really really excited about this guest. This is a friend of mine. I haven't known him super long. I met him earlier this year. Um, amazing, amazing musician. Uh, one of my favorite guitar players I've ever gotten to play with. And uh, he was cool enough to agree to to join us tonight. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, my friend Dylan. And I'm going to bring him up in the, in the Zoom call here. So stand by while I get this patched in. Hello, Dylan. Hey, can you hear me, Dylan? Uh, you're muted, buddy. Unmute. I, I, uh, yep. Can you hear me? Check, check. What's one, up, two. man? Hey, I can hear you. Can the chat hear Dylan? Let's get a confirmation from the chat. Um, check one, two. Can you hear me? I'm metering. I, I think they can hear you. Somebody out there in the internet, let us know. Uh, but I think it's working. So, uh, welcome, man. Dude, this is finally happening. Thanks for being here, Dylan. Dude, dude, thanks so much for having me, man. I'm so excited to be here. Um, yeah, man, you told me about this idea when I was uh, up in Georgia a couple months ago, and I just thought it was like the coolest, most unique thing ever. And uh, so, yeah, I'm honored to be a part of it, man. I'm honored to have you here. I had so much fun when we got to play together earlier this year, and I was like, I got it. I, I told Dylan about this idea. And I was like, this is one of my goals for the year. And he was like, dude, that sounds cool. So we kind of connected when we got to play music um, up at Rhett's. And then I asked him and he was like, yeah, let's come on out. So uh, so here we are. So Dylan. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Absolutely, man. Do you, uh, did you hear the stories? Do you have an opinion? Um, yeah, I'm seeing that everyone's kind of leaning towards the, the train one. And I, I kind of think I am too. I mean, we'll let them decide ultimately, but yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, they're both really cool, but the, the train one is, yeah, I feel like there's a lot we could do with that. Yeah. I, I think you're right. I'm going to be honest here now that the chat has revealed its, its thoughts and you have, I'm, I'm also feeling train. Uh, so I chat speak now or her forever hold your peace. I think we're going to go train robbery. Um, so I'm just going to make an executive decision and say that's what we're doing because it sounds fun. Sweet. So here's the question then for the chat and for Dylan. What would it sound like? And I'm going to I'm gonna preface it with saying we have heard this thing before. It's like the old classical early 1900s 
or it's like the old timey piano where they're playing like a, a, a an abnormal amount of diminished chords. Um, <laughs> right. Or uh, extra dramatic sounding. Very dramatic, right? But like, we, what? It could be anything. So I mean. My first first thought was like almost kind of a Western sort of vibe, but I know that last week you and Red did like a Western space kind of thing, so maybe we should go in maybe a little bit different direction. I, I, um, I don't know, man. I think we should do whatever. So, okay, here's here's the one rule. I should have said this earlier. The one rule with Tiny Songs Live is we do whatever the music tells us to, whatever the story tells us to. So True, true. We'll, I think we'll go wherever – wherever we want to go. And we did do slightly Western, but it was, it wasn't very Western. So I think anything is fair game with, with what we could do and what we should do. Um, true, true. I was also thinking maybe like, what if we gave it like kind of a, like a modern day, like heist movie vibe over this, like over this old timey thing. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's like a, I think there's, it's like a new meets old thing. Like it's like a modern mm-hmm. thing with with a touch of old school. Um, yeah, I think it could go. All right, I'm I'm looking at the chat here. Let's see. We're seeing Buster Keaton style. Um, let's see. Chug chug on the guitar, perhaps whammy bar, maybe. Um, okay. I think. I think. Chat, let us know your ideas. Now's the time. Now's the creative brief time. Anything can happen within our abilities. Um, I, think, I will say I do not own a guitar that has a whammy bar, so so that's uh, that's out of the question. But could maybe do some chug chug. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's got to be intense. It's got to like it's high stakes. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest thing of this mm-hmm. is it's high stakes. It's like you either die or you become rich and you're set for life or you go to jail for right. life. Like it's like, high, <laughs> it's, it's intense. And, um, right. Also right. seeing some of these old, uh, stunts that they're doing. They're like, they're doing some crazy stuff. And I, when I'm not playing music, I'm working in the film industry and I work on movie sets and like, I'm like red flag, red flag on all of these clips. Cause I'm like, this is so unsafe. <laughs> like they were, <laughs> know, yeah, they, they were really doing this stuff when they were filming it. Like they were really jumping over stuff and like some of the old Buster Keaton footage is just like absolutely insane. Yeah. And just zero regulations. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. no, no CG, no nothing. Just like literally jumping on trains. So, um, yeah. All right. The, let's see. Dan says Lumineers meets corn. Thomas says, I like how the Star Wars jazz bar had their take on ragtime. You can make your own take on ragtime. Add low fire hip hop drums. That's cool. That's you're speaking my language. I think I think it's like a low fi hip hop modern drum beat, intense drum beat, and then mm-hmm. maybe we find some chords and then we see what happens. I think that's a good place to start. What do you think? That sounds great to me, man. Okay. So if if it's cool with you then I might just jump in and start mm-hmm. experimenting with some rhythm stuff and like see if we can find like a groove and some chords and then um once i lock that in maybe we could see what you come up with and throw something on top how does that sound that sounds perfect to me man okay cool so i'm gonna jump into the da here um w- people won't be able to see or hear you while i'm over there but i will um well, that's not true they won't be able to hear you but they'll be able to see you so i'm gonna have actually I'm gonna I'm gonna have you minimize until you're recording, so people won't be able to see or hear you. Once you're recording, <laughs> okay. then sounds be- good. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over into the DAW and and I'll see what happens. So we'll come back in a few minutes. Sound good? Sounds good, man. See you in a minute. All right, man. See you soon. All right. All right. What a cool guy. Um. Let's see here. Let me go into our DAW. Welcome. Welcome to the DAW, my friends. Well, you know what? How about this? Let's let's just take a gander. Let's just look at this vibe. Look at this vibe for a second. Steam engine, a lot of power. We gotta find drums that match this vibe. Lo fi makes sense. I like that idea. Um let's let's just see what I can come up with here. In fact, I might 
Here, join me in Splice. I was listening to some drums earlier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Possible. Yeah. That might be... That might be the vibe. 87 there. Ooh, that's cool too. All right, I think it's between this one, option A, option B. Option B's a little slower. Option A, option B. What does the chat think? Let me know what y'all think. They're both good options. Ooh. Ralph says the second one. The first one's a little faster. I like the groove on the second one a little more. Okay. Here, here's a perfect example. If if you want to be a part of this. You got to be quick in the chat. And it looks like five, four to one B already. So we're going to commit to that. Got to move fast here. We got to, we got to commit to stuff. Um, so we're going to go with, we're going to go with, uh, option B. The chat is spoken. Let me just get this, uh, let me just get, let me just get a, uh, Get this brought into my under the DAW here. Yep. Um, we're gonna go. Yep. All right, dragging it in. I have twenty seven windows open. Okay. Chat. All right, and we got it set to eighty seven. Tempo is eighty seven. Okay, let's see if this sounds right in our DAW. Uh huh. That was from earlier. Yep. I think that's the vibe. Cool. All right. So we're going to call all this drums. Got to keep your DAW tidy, folks. Oh, by the way, I didn't say this earlier. I was dealing with a lot of tech problems today. So I want to say this now. If something goes awry, like you can't hear my voice or anything, that's okay. I can fix it, but it might take me a couple minutes. So if that's the case, just let me know in the chat and then I'll quickly, I might have to restart, but it should, I should come back to the same link in like two or three minutes. God forbid I don't, I'll make a new one. So we will prevail over technical difficulty. De technical difficulties tonight so bear with me i think everything's good now but if there is a problem just let me know and we'll roll with the punches together as a team okay all right so that being said now we need to come up with we need to find a thread we need to find the where are we going let's let's look at the b-roll Um, I kind of like, I like the idea of using the, some kind of stringy sound. Let's see if you can hear that. Yeah. Some kind of, let's see here. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I can find some chords, some chords. We got to find some, something interesting. Something that Dylan would sound awesome over over two. That's the the test. I'm just gonna explore some chords for a second. Um. Well, it's 
too it's too hopeful. I think we need a different sound. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe something. Maybe let's go whirl it, sir. Throw me, I need to find a chord progression. I'm open to any ideas. Okay, Terry asks, okay, this is a good this is a good point. In the story, they rob the safe. They rob everybody. They rob everybody, I think, and they rob the safe. They escape, they run away, they're eventually hunted down by the law, and they pay the ultimate price. But these bandits are after the safe primarily. They use some dynamite to get the safe open. Maybe there's something there with the dynamite. Um, maybe. Or, or, ooh, maybe we use some minor chords instead of major. Thomas, you are doing the heavy lifting, my friend. And I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, I had an idea the other day that might be cool. I'm trying to remember it. I think I want to like... Something like that. And then open up on the, on the four. One, two... Again. And then we'll go minor to minor four. And then we'll go major. We might get away from the law. We'll go suspended. And then go back to major. And then we'll go to the five. back to the top yeah you guys like that there's a lot of space in there okay so I'm catching up on the chat here people say they're digging it yeah, there's some chromatic motion. We're descending chromatically. That'll be some cool, some cool space for bass and for Dylan, I think. Um, maybe we'll ask Dylan. Uh, Dylan, you there, man? Do you hear that chord progression? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, so. Uh, okay, okay. Um, For those watching it, at home, the augmented is a major chord, but instead of our, our natural five, we have a, a sharp five. And uh, I need to make sure I know how to actually play that on the keys. But let's audition it real quick. I'm going to give it a try. I think that's a cool idea. So you're just saying on that last bar when I go to the five, just make it augmented. Everything else the same? Okay. All right, let's see. Um, oh, and people say they can't hear Dylan super well. So I'm going to make sure you have your... Um, 
Uh, you know what? Let me, let me change. I something. think it was on my end. I think I had in logic. They can't. Just, um, it did something to. Yeah, I think that's better. Change the audio quality. Yeah. I think we're good. Now. Okay, so for those that didn't hear, maybe may it might have been on my end with the routing. Um, Dylan suggested that chord progression, but make the five chord at the end augmented. And uh, I think that's a really cool idea. So I'm gonna audition that real quick. And uh, yeah, assuming it uh, it cooks, I'll just print it real quick. And then uh, I might jump into some bass and then, but maybe in the meantime, I could um, I could send you a bounce and you could start, start vibing on it yourself. How's that sound? Sounds great, man. All right, let me see. I'm not a real keyboard player, Dylan. Bear with me, I gotta... I might, <laughs> I might, you got this. It might take me a, a try or two. I'm again. You got there. this. I, be, I believe in you. <laughs> hey, do you like having um my mic muted or not muted in the Zoom call? Does it matter? Um, I'd say uh, it's it's good. Not muted. Not muted. Okay, I'll leave it open then. Thanks, dude. All right, yeah, see you soon. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <sighs> see you, man. All right. Um, man, this is so fun. This is this is my idea of a good time, making music with my friends. And my friends on the internet that I don't know in real life, but I'm friends with because they're on here with me. I'm just grateful to everybody that's involved with my channel and and also specifically this weird project. Um, all right, let me let me see if I can get these keys down real quick, and then I have a really really important person I need to introduce all of you to. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's 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 uh, let's listen here. Let's let's see if it works. Two, three, four. And I'll just kind of lay out there, leave some space, and then we'll do it again. And then we'll go minor. And then we go to major one. Maybe we'll make the B section a little shorter. And then here's our augmented, if I can play it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think that's a vibe. I think the B section needs to be a little shorter. It should be like. And then here would be the augmented. I'll probably voice it a little differently, but I can edit that because I'm not a real keyboard player. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down. Let me let me uh, let me stretch this out a little bit. We'll make it a little longer. Make it a little longer. Yep. And then we'll see. Can everybody hear? Okay, everybody's good. Uh, hey, what's up, Roth Bass? Roth, just so you know what's going on. We're doing this train heist, okay? This is an old timey train chase, and it's the, it's it's a western shootout. But we've only ever heard that old school with like an orchestra and and old timey piano. And I got my good friend Dylan here, and we're gonna make it something fresh. And I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, let's see if I can let's see if I can get this down in one take. That'd be a miracle. Here we go. Something like that. Let's uh, let's just do our little. Oh, I didn't quantize anything. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's listen to it. And I think this last one. Let's see here. This last chord progression. Oh, you know what? I should have logic up for you guys. Okay. Um.
Mm -hmm. Listening to this is suspended. That one, I think I need to go. Oops. Drop that down an octave. Yeah. All right, that's the loop, I think. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, maybe that's the form. Let's listen to it for a second. So that's our A section, and then minor, now we're going to go major one. Feels good. What do you guys think? Um, is that augmented? I think that's augmented. Let's see, what do we got? We got a a G. And that's a, that's an E, what? So it should be G, B, and D sharp. Let's just make sure I got those chords right. G, I want this to be a B. See here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, cool. I think I think I'm gonna move I'm, I think I'm gonna bounce this out and send it to Dylan so he can start he can start doing his thing with it. And I'm gonna loop it. Let's say, let's say four times total. We don't have to do all of it, but we can kind of start coming up with a so bear with me, folks. I'm gonna do a quick a quick export and email to Dylan. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull up uh I'm gonna pull up the B-roll for you folks. So you can vibe to this. And I'm just gonna do a quick a quick export. Um, so stand by. I'll be right back with you. Gotta hook our friend Dylan up with some with some spicy uh, some spicy chords and drums, drums and chords. I'm gonna bounce that out, and then let's see here. Go to Dylan. I got a new keyboard. It's real click clacky, and I love that. I don't know if you can hear it. Um. Okay. Put it here. We're gonna. This is part of the workflow, folks. This is how you know it's live. I am emailing Dylan a chord progression I just made up in real time, and it's gonna take a second. Uh, 
Um, drums and chords. Okay. Uploading now. And set. All right. Um, Dylan. I'm going to pull Dylan back up. Hey, buddy. Can you hear me? What's up, man? Hey, cool. That's uh, that's sounding real good, and I got the the tracks just now. Sweet. So, yeah, man, I, I like what that uh, I like what the augmented did there. I, I really like yeah. that idea. I'm I'm really glad you said that. It made it a lot cooler. So thanks for that. Yeah, yeah of course, man. Of course. Um, so cool. Yeah, I've already like um, while you were uh, recording the the keys there, I was messing with some ideas and. I'm feeling kind of like a um, like a '60s like tremolo guitar, lots of reverb, kind of like old Fender amp kind of kind of vibe for it. Um, and uh, yeah, I already got some ideas and stuff, man. So okay, cool. Well, I'll yeah. just hey, like I said earlier, and just so the folks that are just getting into the chat know, the only rule is we follow the music and we follow the story, and there's that's the only rule. There's no rules. So wherever your heart leads you musically, just do that, and it's gonna be awesome. So uh, yeah, I'll just let you do your thing, and then um, when you're done, just wave at me, and we'll see what happens. I'll throw you up in the in the little corner so people can see you working, and just wave when you're done. Sound good? Cool. Sounds good to me, man. Cool. Yeah, and I think I think I mean you could do. I think if you're um, if you're thinking layers. Go ahead and send me the first one and let me know, and I can mm -hmm. import it and then move on. If there are if there are more than one, then move on to the next one. Don't do it all at once, if that makes sense. Do the first okay. one. Okay, okay. And because we can just keep the back and forth going, I think that'll be more fun that cool. way. So yeah, yeah. All right, absolutely. man. So, good luck. Good to be. Have cool. fun. All right, all right. See you soon, man. Ah, so cool. Okay. Um. Well, this is this is going to be a great time. Um. I have a really important announcement that I should have done earlier. So while Dylan's starting on that, I want to tell you something that I'm so excited about. So excited about that I'm going to come over to this camera and tell you about it. So I am married to an incredible person that's also an incredible artist. And while Dylan and I are making this weird music, on the other side of that wall, uh, Shay is making custom art for this stream for the 33 of you that are in the stream right now being creative with us making custom art for you and every episode of tiny songs live has its own collectible patch this is one from a couple weeks ago so in real time designed by shay is creating a patch based off of the story so if you're here for every episode you can collect all the patches because they're on sale during the stream. They're full price after the stream. And then when the next episode is here, then they're gone. So you can't get these ever again. It's a one-time thing. It's a way uh, you can get something cool. And then also it directly supports um, Shay and myself who are trying to do cool creative things for all of you. So check out the link in the description and in the chat for the custom art patch and while i'm at it i'm gonna i'm gonna introduce you come in designed by shay can you hear me i surely can hi how you doing over there well i'm good i'm just trying to uh share some merch links and failing at that uh, i'm sure it'll, it'll work itself out how do you feel about uh this uh this art challenge the, how do you feel about the tr the train robbery uh, aesthetic? I'm intrigued by it. I'm trying to figure out a way to make it not just a generic train and make it feel like it's tied into that train robbery heist situation. Nice. Well, if anybody can do it, it's you. I'll let you get back to your thing. All right. Good luck to you. Good luck to you as well. What a woman. Designed by Shay, everyone, making custom art for you in real time while my friend Dylan and I are making custom music for you. And it is, this is just fun. And this is what it's all about. And welcome to 
<laughs> my friend Rhett, who had a mixing bowl explode in the kitchen and ruin dinner. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, I that's maybe it's a good omen though for the music that's going to happen tonight. But I'm sorry that you and Lady Tilly had to deal with it. So, um, I'm glad you're here. Take take your troubles away with with music. Um, so for those of you that are just arriving, we're doing a tiny song. What that means is we're making a song live based off of a story, and the story for today is a train heist, a train robbery. And I have my friend Dylan Adams, who is here. He's helping me. He's a really cool guitar player, and he is working on some chords that I came up with a second ago, and he's going to send us something here soon. And who knows what here it is. I'm going to make it where, look, we can see him up there. Look at this. Uh, look at that guy. He's over there just tearing it up. We can't hear him. Who knows what he's doing? It's probably something pretty spicy. Uh, so we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, I feel like I could explore. Well, I kind of want to wait on bass until I hear what Dylan's done. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll, I might explore some more keyboard textures. I really like this this direction with these drums and these keys. <sighs> um, oh, sorry, you're at. Okay, let's let's see what we can do here. Back in our DAW. Let's let's listen. Let's listen to our musical journey. What do we have so far? <laughs> Okay, I have this idea. I might duplicate it. It might be cool to do some car some sort of arpeggiation. Arpeggiation. Let's see here. This one. Let's listen. If we arpeggiate it in one octave, let's just listen. <laughs> You can change the patterns. We need to slow it down to eighth note. No. Well, let's listen with the drums. Check, check, okay. be cool. This is kind of abrasive right now, but tucked away it might be kind of nice with some... Uh, some delay. So excited about playing bass on this. But then if we layer it with this one, where we have the pad in there, it's like motion and pad. Is that cool? What do we think? Maybe it's a different tone though. Maybe it's cello, but then we might have to go up an octave. Up an octave like this. I kind of like leaning into some of the like the echo of the past with the like orchestral dramatic music it could get muddy with the bass hmm. let's 
try let's try brass somebody said try back brass let's try it Hello, it's a bass. I think string section, and maybe it's less octaves. I think we have too many octaves going on. Two octaves would be better. Take up a little. Yeah, Rhett, it's a it's a train heist. Here, check out the footage. Then we have an A and a B section. We got major, and then Dylan had this cool suggestion for this augmented chord here. That back to minor. It's a vibe. like Dylan's still working. We're going to let him do his thing. What do we think? Do we like this direction? I also want to make sure to leave space for whatever Dylan's doing. Because um, all he knows is this. I want to overshadow his vibe. But this is kind of cool. nefarious mush I think this uh, string part is nefarious mustache vibes maybe I need to tweak the tone a little bit So maybe maybe this is becoming the theme song for the like the train robber who will eventually meet their ultimate demise. Looks like Dylan's still working. Um I think this is grooving. I can't wait to play bass on this. Um, what if we try to something a little more modern for a pad? Dude, something. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Like the something more industrial. Okay, let me bear with me for a second. I want to put, I want to duplicate this track and see how it sounds with the pad. It's a lot of low ends, but. So that's the case we don't really need the This is grooving. We don't even have guitar or bass yet. I do like the industrial idea. Okay. I'm just gonna let this track play. We're at 87 BPM. What if we could find some kind of cool percussion thing at 87? I'm gonna search. Drums. Oh my 
ago, specifically 87. Exactly 87. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go percussion. Is there anything? Let's see if something comes up. 87. Some kind of train vibe. You know what? This could be a rabbit hole. We might come back to this. Um, let's see how Dylan's doing. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole too much without touching base with our good friend. Uh, so let me pull up the Zoom call. Uh, stand by. Let me get it where I can see my face too. And hey, buddy, can you hear me? Hey, man. How's it going? It's going good. I was just about to email you the first track. Nice. Sorry that took a minute. No, you're but, fine. Uh, I've been having fun uh, coming up with weird synth sounds, and I might try and find some weird percussion sounds. So you're still you're in the process of uh, emailing. Yes, and it wants to send it as a Google uh, Drive thing. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Go ahead and send it, and uh, I'll. Uh... If, you know, if you want, I can I can send it like because I kind of just I, I looped a uh, an eight bar section. Uh huh. Um, I can just send you just the one eight bar section, and you can loop it if you want. Um, if it is, I guess it's... it doesn't really matter. It's the same part. Okay. It's a, it's like one eight bar section. So, Pretty much. Well, I mean, it's not. It's it's however long the the form is. But uh, here, I'll just go ahead and send you what I got. Okay, so. cool. Um, I'll tell you what. While I'm importing that, I'm gonna let the people of the chat groove to here. I don't know if you heard it. I was messing around with some arpeggiation stuff to kind of get the nefarious mustache twirling sinister yep. guy. Uh, I did hear that, and I was actually. It's funny. I was starting to go down that route on the guitar but i was like wait if he's doing that let me do something else so i uh what, what i did you'll hear it in a second but it's just kind of a, a single note just little kind of 16th note sort of thing that's like kind of constantly you know driving and moving the whole time okay so cool uh I just like it kind of uh it goes along with the the train vibe okay so. sick um i just downloaded it i'm gonna import it so cool. stand by a second um, Sweet. And this is how you know it's li live, everybody. I just told my friend Dylan to record guitar to a random progression that we wrote just now, and he just did it. And that's how you know he's a cool guy because he can do that. That's hard to do. Um, and let's see if I can actually import it because I have 27 screens in front of me. Um. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it imported. So I'm just going to play the original parts and then what Dylan sent. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to Logic. And now the people can't hear Dylan, but we can hear his we can hear his guitar parts. So let's listen to it real quick. I think that might be the thing from earlier. I was like, I don't think this is working. No, no, no. Um, I might have imported the wrong thing. Hold on. That was my bad. I <laughs> Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. That was 100. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pulling the Zoom call up. Yeah, it should be that all was... the guitar chugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... that, okay, that is how you know this is live. That was 100% <laughs> my fault, not Dylan's fault, everyone. I imported the wrong file because I'm multitasking too much. So that was not Dylan. Bear with me, everybody. We're going to get this right. Back in the back in the logic. Um, and I'm going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> I heard it and I was like, uh, I don't know about this. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be better. All right, let's try it again. Yeah. That sounds so good. Dude, this is so cool. I love it. Yeah, I tried to kind of, you know, just match that little chromatic lockdown thing. And Dude, your uh, 16th note feel is so solid. Your pocket is really good. Some like Tower Thanks, of Power man. shit. Thanks, man. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, okay. I'm listening to it uh, with the stream right now. It's, it's, it sounds cool with the uh, with the arpeggiation, too, I feel like. Yeah, I think so. I think um, I might have to EQ a little bit and do some panning to like let everything live nicely, but mm -hmm. that is so cool, man. Uh, you Thanks, killed man. that. Dude. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this opportunity to say, clearly, people of the chat and of the world watching, clearly Dylan is an amazing player to be able to do that immediately with no preparation. But um, you, he has a YouTube channel. If you don't already subscribe to Dylan's channel, you need to do that because it's great. And then also, he teaches lessons, and he's amazing. So support Dylan. Um, we're going to put links to all of Dylan's stuff in the description later, but they're also going to be in the chat. So if you don't get anything else from tonight and anything else from this stream, support my friend Dylan. He's a really amazing musician, and we want to support musicians and support live music. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Um, so well, Thanks so much, man. That means a lot. That you, really means a lot. Oh, dude, whatever, man. You're earning that left and right. You're over here chugga-chugging the the choo-choo all the way through the treacherous mountains with your 16th note feel it's amazing um okay so i feel like it's time for me to play some bass but i also am so curious what else you got do you do you is it just that part or do you want to like play a little slide on it or like what are you feeling yeah i was thinking i i, I guess i'm probably gonna have to play some slide uh yeah so let, let me mess with it a little bit i'll maybe try and come up with like just a little mel melody part on slide see what happens okay um yeah whatever the music tells you to do do don't force anything if it's not feeling right mm -hmm. don't um i I'll, I'll probably take a couple minutes to try and come up with the right bass vibe um and uh, so, yeah, just take your time, and we'll just circle back uh, on the next pass, just like the train. Cool. Sounds good, man. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what you uh, what you do with the bass, because, uh, yeah, I'm sure you're going to come up with something super dope. So, so, yeah, I'm excited to hear it, man. Right, no pressure. Now, Dylan did something super dope, and now I have to do something <laughs> super dope. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon, buddy. Hey, All right. Sounds good, man. See you. Uh, okay. What a guy. Man, Dylan Adams. What a cool guy. Amazing player. You guys really should follow him if you don't. Um, what do we do here? Let's listen to the track. Let's let's let the music tell us. Um, hmm. It's like it might be really punchy. Like short notes. It could be Moog.
you guys think? Where's an electric bass? Huh. Can you hear the mug? I think I have it patched in. Let me let me try a bit electric bass though. I mean, it's a train. It's it might need some like fuzzy octaves. Who knows? guys think? Hmm. Somebody says, what would Paul McCartney do? Huh. He'd probably play a semi-hollow. We have the technology. Somebody says the jazz bass. All right. Well, let's see what Paul would do. Stand back. That augmented definitely makes me think of uh, Beatles. And Rhett's saying the P bass. Everyone's summoning a different fish. And by fish, I mean bass. And by bass, I mean bass. All right, chat. The chat will decide the bass. Is it Moog? Is it P bass? Is it semi hollow bass? Or is it jazz bass? Or will the music tell us in just a moment? This one's... Yeah, I know I need a guild. Not everybody can have a guild, Roth. Ooh, that sounds good. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Putting the foam in the bridge, folks. Let's see what the music tells us. That uh, sounds pretty good. Right here. So I think this is the bass. Um, um, we need to find the part and the tone. Do we want reverb? Let's listen.
incorporate the third of the, the minor four, or the flat third of the minor four. I think we're getting close. It's also hard without having heard Dylan. I want to leave him space. I don't want to take up too much melody space. Um, Ralph, I'm loaning the black bass rig to my friend Trigby. Um, so don't. Okay. 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 I think. I think. I think we're 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 getting close here. close. I think this is the bass, this is the tone maybe. Ross says always be asked to play more notes, not less. Quote yourself. Uh, you're right, Roth. You're right. You're right. It's easy for a bass player to pick up a bass and just start playing a lot of things because there's so much space, but there's not going to be when Dylan comes back with a beautiful solo. We've got to leave him space. I'm gonna get get a little more drive and a little less notes. between staccato and legato on the A section. Do we like it punchy? I think this section here needs to be really open. But on this minor section coming up here, do we like it here? Do we like it punchy like this? Or do we like it more open like this? What does the chat think? Oh, somebody says invert the legato. Okay, I, th I like that. Maybe when, when Dylan's punchy, I'm long notes. He's kind of punchy throughout.
Okay, somebody says legato first, and then staccato second. Let's try that. All right, let's just... Ooh, we got a little buzz. A little buzz never harmed anybody. All right, here we go. All right, somebody says legato first, staccato second. I'm gonna try it. throughout and then legato in the B section. I think I'm going to go with my gut. And then we'll do this unison. Dylan just emailed me. So, uh, let's, let's, let's see what, I'm going to download what Dylan sent and, uh, we'll find out soon enough. This is so much fun, everybody. Oh my gosh. I'm having so much fun here. New message from Dylan Adams. Let's see what he's got here. Slide melody. All right. Downloading. Hmm. All right. Importing. Call this slide. Uh huh. Well, if I could type. And then drag this in. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, Dylan, can you hear me? All right. I just imported it. I haven't listened yet. Anything I need to know, or should I just go for it? Just uh, let's go for it, man. All right. We'll be right back with you in a second. Uh. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let's see what we got.
Oh, wait, hold on. Let me uh, hold on just a second, Dylan. The people can't hear you. Uh, okay, now you're back. Oh, dude, that was amazing. That's so Thanks, awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, so what I did there, like, I recorded it just one time around. And uh-huh. what you can do is, like, if you want to, because the form is 12 bars, so if you want to cut it at that 12 bars and then loop it, you can. Um, okay. But if you want it to, like, only go one or, you know, you want it to go around multiple times and then um, have, like, an ending for the last time around, then it'll just kind of, like, end on that on that root note there. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, man, I just, uh, since, you know... The other guitar part had the kind of 16 note thing, and you have the arpeggio thing going. I figured like kind of a um, a slide melody with like some more space to it would be good. So yeah, um, so yeah, man. And I feel like uh, and I kind of went with that little um, augmented arpeggio motif that we got going there. I heard you were doing it on the bass too, which was cool. Yeah. So, so yeah. Anytime I, think, I get uh, to play that sharp five, cool. I might as well take advantage of it. I know. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, man. And your your baseline just just like I thought is uh, super groovy, super funky. Thanks, man. So, I might actually I might yeah, read man. I might change it a little bit now that I've heard your melody. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, I think it works, but I'm like I always I always like playing bass after I hear a melody because it's like I want to let the melody shine, you know. So maybe it, I don't know. Sure. I need to listen to it again. Um, maybe it's working, but I might I might kind of play to your melody a little bit. Um, Cool. That but uh, for me. yeah, dude, is uh, how are you feeling? Is that like, I mean, you've delivered delivered two fire tracks. Is uh, um, I mean, I like I, I'm I'm happy with them, but I mean, I do have one more idea just for a little like um, just kind of a, a chordal thing that uh-huh. I can do if you want. Uh, just you know, just to give you another option to throw in there if you if you feel it uh if you feel like it but um it's up, it's up to you man. man no it's up to you if you if you are like dude i want to do this then do it but if you're like you know what i've my work here is done that's fine too it's it's a hundred percent your call okay well i'll do uh, i'll send you one more track how about that okay sounds good you've uh cool. you're two for two knocking it out of the park though so don't i mean don't ruin a good thing, man. You have a perfect track record. <laughs> no, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, this this will be. I mean, they're all optional, but this will especially be an optional one. So okay, just, there's a little extra option there in case you want it. So all right, man. Well, have fun with it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back in over here, and we'll see what we'll see what comes together. I, what I'm really excited for is like once we have all the parts, then it's gonna mm-hmm. be like I think we can like I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the mix and like mash it up, and I'm so excited. This is gonna be so fun. Cool, man. Yeah, I can't wait to hear how you uh, you layer it all together and stuff. And I guess one last thing with that slide melody, like if you want to add some more, like I intentionally left it kind of dry. So mm-hmm. if you want to add more reverb or some, you know, more spacey kind of stuff, then then uh, feel free. So okay, um, cool. Yeah, I'll, so I'll yeah. Uh, mess around with it. Cool. Well, sounds good, man. All right, man. Well, uh, good luck. All right. I'll <laughs> okay. See you on the flip side. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is this is so much fun. Okay, if you're just getting here, just a friendly recap of what's going on. What the heck is going on? So we're making a song totally from scratch. It's inspired by a train heist, but reimagined musically. And I have my friend Dylan here. He's an amazing guitar player. If you don't already follow Dylan or subscribe to his YouTube channel, you're missing out. He's awesome, and he also teaches. So if you're trying to get to the next level with your guitar playing, um, you should definitely definitely sign up for that because it's he's a really, really remarkable musician. Um, so what's happened so far is we've got some chords. D- uh, Dylan sent some guitar tracks. I've been messing around with some bass stuff, and we're kind of like slowly like building this thing, and then we're gonna it's gonna become a thing. So um, I think I'm gonna jump back in on some bass stuff, but we're very welcome to all ideas from the chat. If I didn't see your idea, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm multitasking, and I'm not the best at that. So if you have something to say, just type it again because it's um, it's I want to hear your thoughts. This is gonna be cool, cooler and better with your help. Also, I do want to take a moment and thank our our sponsor, Sweetwater. They're making this possible tonight, and I'm grateful to them. So thank you, Sweetwater. They have a really cool giveaway going on right now. And um, you should go check that out. And then finally, um, the patches, man. Zambache is designing custom merch for the stream in real time. 
for you, for me, for all of us. If you want to support the, the channel, support Shay and myself, and also get a one-of-a-kind cool collectible patch. These are for sale now. They're, they're for sale during the stream. They're full price after the stream. And then they're gone by the next episode. Limited number not to be sold again. So if you want them, get them now. While well, they're hot. They're, they're hot. Sizzling. Um, so that being said, let's listen to what we got. Let's listen to our, our tracks. Let's listen to Dylan's tracks. Let's see what's going on. Um, all right, we're back in logic here. All right, let's let's just listen. Uh, I have my mix turned down. That's why I can't hear it. There we go. <laughs> the loop there so let me do like a little little maintenance here i'm gonna do a i'm gonna just make it work and loop around we can vibe to it while we come up with <laughs> right there is our cut let's just see how that cuts together Oh, I want to let you see the DAW. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's just see what happens here.
what do you guys think? Woo. I love playing bass so much. I think like a second to last take was the was the vibe. Uh, let's let's. Let's see then. better dude that's the take right there that one the rhythm section land I think we need some more traininess we need some more train trainy train vibes um hmm although Floof is saying we should do some more 16th notes I like that idea I, I do want to keep moving though I want to um be respectful of everybody's time. I've already spent a lot of time on bass. Let's see here. to kick you. I don't think we need two Mellotrons. Ooh, actually, you know, it might be cool to do the uh, vinyl on this.
See you, Raf. Go be a good dad. Thanks for all your ideas. Great ideas. I like that Mellotron sound. Uh, that vinyl plugin is free. It's by Isotope, and it's just called Vinyl. to the wrong guitar part earlier. Yeah. All right, looks like Dylan sent me another email. Could he possibly top himself? I don't think so, but find out short enough. It's called Twinkly Chords. I haven't heard it yet. See what we got. All right, let's listen to it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this pad though because we got too much going on right now. Um, okay, listening. Yeah. get over to let me get over to where we can see our good friend Dylan here um hold on hey buddy can you hear me yeah man dude three for three man come on oh man that was uh that last one was a pretty basic one but uh yeah I thought it'd be cool to just have some like little tremolo chords kind of up in that higher register you know yeah and this this might be this might be a reach but I feel like it kind of it has a little bit of like a train horn vibe a little bit. Just I think so. Bit, yeah. You know? I feel like that's so. kind of like, I feel like we have been missing this, not because of anything we've done, but I feel like we haven't hit the story with the train element yet. And I love that you did right. that. Cause I think it, it brings us a little closer to that. Um, it's really cool, man. Gosh, you knocked it out of the park, dude. Thanks man. Thank you, dude. This was a, uh, yeah, this, I think this was a really cool, video topic and um yeah man just uh yeah i had a lot of fun just coming up with some little little parts and stuff you know yeah dude well um man i'm just so grateful for you being here um i feel like i feel like your your duties have been completed with great excellence <laughs> so i think <laughs> i think you're you're good man i think at this point i'm gonna probably just kind of do some like organization and mixing and just kind of like okay um but what do you think of, of what we've done so far do you are you are you missing anything are you imagining anything or do you, you hear something that i should be aware of when i'm moving on to the next steps or what do you think not, not that i can think of man i mean the only thing would just be you know just making sure that kind of like you said a minute ago like there's there's not too much going on mm -hmm. you know um like uh yeah, like if any if any of the parts need to be taken out just to just to make it not just you know just be too much and have too many conflicting parts, then yeah. um, you know that's that's the only thing I would say. But uh, but yeah, no, I think it's uh, I think it's sounding great so far, man. And uh, 
and yeah, I'm just uh, I'm grateful to have uh, to have joined you for for this tiny songs episode. And uh, yeah, dude. yeah, man, this is a lot of fun. This is great. Yeah. So. Well, I'd love to have you back some sometime, maybe maybe in another season, because this has been so fun. Um, well, Absolutely, man. I'd love to. Well, thanks, man. Uh, and uh, of everybody in the chat say thank you, Dylan. Um, we we're just all gr- so grateful that you took your your Thursday night to hang out with us and make some cool stuff. So, um, hey, man, the pleasure's all mine. So, hang out in the chat as long as you want, and uh, and throw in any ideas, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of keep moving here. But um, all right. Thanks, cool. dude. We'll do, man. Well, yeah, I can't wait to see what you what you do with the with the tracks. Yeah, well, me too. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right, cool, man. All right, well, uh, well, yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, awesome job, dude. All right, cool. Thanks, man. So, just a reminder: Dylan is awesome. Please, please, if you don't get anything else, go subscribe to Dylan, and. uh He's a he's an amazing musician. He's a friend of mine. I'm just grateful that he's here. He's a great teacher, and he has a really cool YouTube channel. So you should definitely go support him. Um, also, uh, we're we're selling these patches. If you want to support the stream, designed by Shay is drawing a custom patch. This is one from a few weeks ago. Each episode has its own patch. So designed by Shay is working on that right now. And um, also, I should say too, I have some courses, music courses, bass courses, got on sale right now. Um, triads course so if you learn how to be able to improvise and be creative with music learning your triads are a great place to start that is on sale right now uh the link to that is in the chat so that being said i'm gonna jump back into creative mode here and uh kind of try and try and tie this together a little bit so let's see what we can come up with I think like we have so many great parts it's just gonna be like we're gonna have different ones coming and going so maybe it's like there let's see here hmm listening listening I think we, hmm okay okay let's just listen through It's just the, just on the pad might come in just for the major.
love this. I love everything. Love everything. Uh, come in. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Done with the punch. So this is the last chance to get it. This is going to be the last chance. What was the last thing you said? The punch is complete. This is the last chance to get it. This is going to be the last chance. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement, and that is that the patch design has been completed, is on the way. So if you want to get it on sale, this is your last chance. You can always get it at full price, but who likes to pay full price these days? In this economy, come on. start with some drums maybe I think we do need some kind of like percussion thing leaving some space on the uh, kind of wonder if the Mellotron's doing too much leaving some space on the on the uh, major section would be nice Right, Floof says like a, a hammer or a railroad spike. vibing for a second. All right, I think I think what we're missing is some sort of mechanical thing. That's come up a few times in the chat. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm going to give the search like two to three minutes on Splice. Splice is hit or miss, but I can't track percussion here right now. I wish Colin was here. Wherever he is, we salute him. But uh, let me see if I can find something that might work. that gives us train vibes. That might work. That's kind of train vibes. Would that work over what we're doing is the question. Let's listen to... All right, let me see if I can time it up. Three, four... Cool. 
keep looking. Hmm. A lot of these are too... Many. This is the Ooh, that's a that's a little literal anvil. Let's see if that sounds three, four. That's kinda cool. The whistle could be cool too. I'm going to go ahead and import this just so we have it. Somebody says down an octave. That's a cool idea. Hmm. Love this plugin. That's kind of train vibes. We can send it to the reverb bus. And maybe it's only there part of the time. They got some of this low end. Do we like that? Definitely has train vibes to me. Maybe there's a delay thing. Maybe we could do a, um... Uh-oh. Spinning wheel of death. Come on, Logic. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Okay. I think it's doing something. And then it disappears on the A section. It's a nice shift. I do think we need some kind of train horn. Can we make 
like this. Maybe I maybe they have one. Some some splice has cool foley stuff. It's a little it might be a little too on the nose. It's a different key. Oh. That's a C. Oh man, are we gonna go down this rabbit hole of train sounds? It's in the right key, different different tempo. Ooh. Okay, that's in G minor. I could pitch that up maybe. Let's try that. Let's let's get weird here. That could be cool. I'm gonna buy that. Buy that. I mean cash in on one of my mini credits. Um Okay, okay. Um Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's do all right, now we're back in logic. Let's do a new track. Uh-huh. Let's listen to this for a second. Mm, I'm not sure about this. Okay, so if that were pitched down, it's in G minor, so we want to go down eight half steps. Or we could go up, let's see, up six. Maybe something there. But I think it needs some massive. Let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna distort it, and we're gonna make it have a tail. Now it's part of the music. That's kind of cool. All right, listening. That's a cool fact, depending on how much about, so maybe we should talk to the engineer about how much pressure to change the key. Okay, that's cool. I'm bringing it down a little bit. And I think it's like at the downbeat of each of the minor progressions, kind of tucked back a little bit. Listening. Yeah. Bringing down our anvil.
Yeah. Right there is where she come in again. I think I want some vinyl on the pad to make a warble. It's a little too, we need a little bit more concerning. somewhere folks maybe the bass comes in right here boom sometimes the bass doesn't need to be in at the top Let's see how that feels I'm trying to like basically sculpt this into like a, a movement because we have a lot of great parts but we need to make space for them right I like that intro right here. Opens up. everybody feeling I'm not a hundred percent on the bass part I know I've already done it twice but now that I have all the pieces it might be the P bass I think the Snorlax is a little too mushy we need something more precise, I think. And the part needs to be simplified. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if we're gonna do it, we gotta do it right, right? I feel like uh, the chat is patient and forgiving. And I think uh, I think I need to do, I need to do this right. I think it, I think we're back to baseland. And I think uh, I think that might be it. And for the record, I have been like mixing these and like completing them the next day, like not late, le not uh, more parts, but um, I'm. Th do you guys want like a Tiny Song Season One like album? Do you want that? Should I make that available? I got a message from Design by Shay. Hey, come in, Design by Shay. That patch is done. If you want to pull it on up. Oh, nice. Uh, I haven't seen the airdrop. Is it emailed? It has been emailed. Copy that. All right, so stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the patch reveal, and then we'll do bass. 
Uh, this is very important. This is, if you didn't know, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, real quick, before the reveal, um, in real time, while we've been making this song, my wife, Shay, who's on the other side of that wall, is making a custom patch. Every episode has a custom patch. So this is one from a few weeks ago, but every episode has a custom custom merch. And we have a bunch of new merch too. We have cool shirts and, and hats and all kinds of cool stuff. If you wanna support the channel, this is a great way. But it, these are only on sale now, and then they're full price, and then by the next episode, they're gone. You can only get them now. You gotta be here to collect all of them. So if you wanna support the channel, this is a great way support Shay and support me, and it's just fun. So we're about to reveal the new patch, and I'm so excited about it. So bear with me, I gotta, I gotta make it where it's visible to you. So, just a second. Okay, okay. Pulling it up here, and drum roll. This is, this is so cool. Okay, in three, two, one. Look how cool that is. That's amazing. Many thank you. You killed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you. Well, I was inspired by you and Dylan. All right. I'm going to expand it so we can see it a little more detailed. Look at this. There's like a bandit on the back of it and this steam. What? It's so cool. You killed it, Shay. <laughs> Thanks. The uh, the sun is setting down uh, on the bandit's time. Well, well done. You are uh, officially complete, uh, released of your of your duties. Not that they're your duties, but you you did a great job, and it looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got it. Enjoy tracking some B bass. Thanks, babe. What a woman. Okay, so if you want to sport or just have a cool patch, there it is. The link's in the chat. Oh, my gosh. So cool. And uh, we're going to send Dylan one. Every guest gets a patch. That's the rule. So cool. Okay, well, before I get uh, too distracted, I need, to, I need to get back to work here. I need to I – have, I have responsibilities here. Um. This is the mighty scepter of the deliverance of the bass tone, I believe, for this song. And I think it's I think it's clean. A little saturated. A little compression. I think the compression's gonna help us. I think this is what we need. Yep. We don't want reverb. Yep. Yep. I think this is going to deliver deliver the train through the treacherous pass. All right, let's see. Let's see what I can do here. All right, we're going to listen for a second and then and then we'll and then we'll we'll track. I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording. Yeah, I already I already feel good about this. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a good feeling about this. Here we go.
think that was it. Although I think I want to let that note ring at the end. We'll end on that C, don't worry. I just need to get this one big note down. Yeah. Okay. Listening. Yep. I like that slide at the beginning. Floof, I hear you about the 16ths, but I really want to let that rhythm guitar shine with the 16ths. And if I try and match it, it's not going to be perfect. B roll. Let's see how we did. I'm with you though, Floof. I like your ideas. You got some great ideas tonight. I don't know if I got to all of them, but I really appreciate them. too much <laughs> gosh Dylan is so good listen to his tone man and his feel what an amazing musician <sighs> this is so fun keep tweaking this but just a reminder there are two more episodes of season one next week and the following week Thursdays 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, the next guest I'm really excited to introduce to you and uh, this is just so fun this is like my favorite thing to do man I look forward to Thursday so much I look forward to hanging out with you guys if you want to support, follow Dylan on social media. Um, buy a patch. Custom merch for each stream. Check out the courses. The biggest thank you to Sweetwater. And a massive thank you as well to Dylan and to Shay for making this whole thing possible. And a, an enormous thank you to each of you for being here, for being a part of this, this moment that we're all sharing together musically, live music through the internet. So I just want to say a big, I love all of you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And I salute you. grateful to you for being a part of it. There are a few ways you can support this channel. One, we have merch, limited edition merch for each episode. Two, music courses. Three, I have affiliate links to the gear that I'm using to create this music. And four, private music coaching. If you want one-on-one -on -one time with me to talk about whatever you want musically, that's available as well. And links to all of that are in the description. Tiny Songs Live will be every week this month. I hope to see you on the next one.